Hello everybody and welcome back to an all new Paranormal Theories. Uh, this week we are checking out the uh, Legend of Bloody Mary. Do um, you want to start off, Alan, with uh, what you know about the legend at least? From what, not modern day at least. Well, see, with me a lot of it actually did come from a lot of modern day, or modern-ish day media, you know, with the whole Bloody Mary in the mirror and you can see her face and things like that, but... Keegan actually pointed me out to a little bit more of the history and where it had come from. It was actually really interesting to me. And yeah. See, from what I've known about Bloody Mary, I think I first heard about when I was in, like, first, second grade. Um, it's always just been about if you say Bloody Mary three times in the mirror, this ghost will appear. And that's about all I've heard about it. But, yeah, about like, the same. Yeah, when we did the research, I think we learned a lot more where it actually started, and it's nothing like what it is now exactly um it actually started when was that like they it started back in the victorian age i think they said yeah. and it was actually girls would walk backwards up the stairs in one hand they'd have a candle in the other they would have a uh, mirror and they were supposedly either going to see their future husband's face or a skull which meant they were going to die before marriage. So I thought that was kind of interesting to see. It's kind of like that phone or that game we would play in elementary. Uh, it was like phone or something. Telephone, Telephone, yeah. where you would start off and you would say one thing and it would change over time. And that's kind of what I've seen with this, at least. It started off completely 180 where it is now. Yeah, and I mean, a, a lot of, uh, you know, kind of urban legends and things tend to change a little bit with time, just like the game Telephone, but... It, it does seem that Bloody Mary has kind of stemmed a little bit further out than a lot of the others we've seen. Yeah, and then, I mean, personally, I mean, before even this video where we shot, if you're watching on YouTube, I know we have it recording also for the internet, uh, but if you're watching on YouTube, you saw us just do the Bloody Mary thing, and we also talked about the baby because that was another thing that changed was if uh, you taunt it using the baby, she'd appear blah blah but I tried it at my uh, house up in Hamilton Street and I it didn't work so I figured if it never worked there it wasn't gonna work anywhere yeah have you had any previous experiences trying this before uh, I've never tried it I've never really known anybody that has tried it more just you know Hollywood pop culture type things yeah I mean and it's been in a couple movies Pernal Activity 3 um, what else has it been in there was a movie called uh, Bloody Mary, I think it came out in 2006. It's also been in TV shows like Supernatural, and uh, there's even a South Park they kind of made fun of Bloody Mary uh, using uh, uh, the Notorious B.I.G. Um, but what do you think it actually could be now using kind of the modern looking on it? Now, there's a, there's a little bit of a theory behind it on why you could actually see a face or see things in a mirror there's this uh it, it's based on this theory called troxler's fading and it kind of goes into the fact and states how if you actually stand in a poorly lit room and look at a reflection that your brain actually starts to play tricks on itself and you'll see you know distortions and images or you can see things flip upside down or um, it's even been reported that people have seen their own faces melt in the mirror, and it's all just from legitimate mind games, not even... Pretty much just, also just your eyes adjusting to the low levels of Exactly, life. exactly. Yeah. I mean, so that, that's all it seems to be, is just kind of a urban legend, something that's changed over time, and then it's become something completely different. Um, but I think that's all we got for this one. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys have any uh, anything you'd like to add or like us to look into a little bit more, feel free to comment on it, and we'll try to try to get that out to you. Yeah, and go uh, check out last week's episode on Bigfoot, as well as our last uh, abandoned Colorado. Where Alan checked out the Castlewood Dam. Uh, I'll put links in the descriptions. But until next time.